1980, there was a severe flood in the village, which resulted in the River Authority, who was then Yorkshire Water, uh, building a flood scheme to, or designing a flood scheme to protect the village. Now this flood scheme consists of a flood wall through the village and flood plains upstream and downstream of the village. There was a village committee formed at this time uh, which I was a member of and uh, I've been involved in the flood scheme right from the beginning. In 1982, there was an even more severe flood when about 80 odd houses in the village were flooded. Unfortunately, the wall was just in the early stages of construction at that time. However, the wall has been finished and it's twice been severely tested, once in the year 2000 and again recently. Now the way the flood scheme works is when the water gets to this level it starts to flow over the banks into the Ings. Now first of all it runs over into the Rither marshes, then the Kelfield Ings and lastly into Kaywood Ings. So the flood water tends to stop at round about that level until all the Ings are flooded. Now it will never rise above this level until the Ings are completely filled and the river level continues to rise. Now that situation has never happened. We do get Kelfield Ings which is the smaller one filled Rither Ings has been fairly full, but there's always been plenty of capacity in Kaywood Ings. So, between those levels, the river level tends to be fairly constant, even though more and more water is coming down from the hills. If we ever got to the situation where the Ings were filled, and the level continued to rise, from this level up to the top of the wall, there's a vast amount of water is required. If you can imagine the area, it's not only the river level that has to rise that much, but all the Ings have to rise that much as well. In Kelfield Ings, for instance, between this level and the top of the wall, there's something like 200,000 cubic metres of water required before the level would get up to this top. Now, Rither marshes and Kaywood Ings are much bigger than Kelfield Ings, probably both about twice the size, which means that we'd be talking something like a million cubic metres of water before the flood ever came over the top of the wall. 